hello youtubers we are friday i think it's the second of june and uh, decided to do a random wild camp on the moors uh was umming and ahhing about going to watch this live gig at the bread of roses in plymouth but decided wow uh, weather's looking fantastic uh head out to the moors and do a solo wild camp and try out my new raccoon OEX 2.1 tent and uh, yeah just chill out on the moors uh, for the night and I thought may, may as well make the most of the uh, this lovely weather that we're having at the moment and uh, start the weekend off by doing a wild camp decided to you can see probably prints down the um, the, the mast just over there and uh, yeah just gonna have a little uh, little bit of a scout before it gets dark and uh, set up camp and have some food uh, as well as the beautiful sunset that we're getting right now we're also getting uh, what's close to a full moon I think it's a full moon tomorrow uh, it's a full moon tomorrow. God, it's going to be really noisy tonight, isn't it, with all the sheep? We're going to have some moonlight tonight on the moors. So yeah, let's let's find a a spot to camp down. You can see a little uh, young uh, wild pony there. Uh, but it's absolutely beautiful. I'm glad it came out. I think uh, you see the moon's just starting to appear over there. So I'm going to carry along this trail and hopefully I'm going to find a, a spot. Yeah, I think looking for a spot round here, just looking for a nice flat spot really. Away from the uh, the hustling crowd. Okay, I think I found me spot. Looks kind of flat there, next to this little mound. But yeah, the sun's already set and. Uh, Time to uh, get dark, but we have moonlight, which will give us a bit of light. How do I, how do I construct this? Let me see if I can remember. Bit of an odd design, this one. So you have to put the inner tent, set the inner tent up first. And you've got these two long poles. Now if I'm right in thinking, let's connect these up. It's a bit of a weird one to, to set up. Um, I did it last weekend. And in a minute it's one of those 
so that yeah those need to cross over like that so they uh that's got to put the clip these in black pegs peg onto one pole First part done. Okay, we put the uh, the outer on now. Vents on. <clears throat> Looks like we're going to have chicken tikka and rice for tonight. That's the menu, and going to boil it in the uh, the saucepan there, and my um, gas stove, and that's. For breakfast tomorrow okay so managed to get the tent set up now and uh, got my uh, sleeping mat blown up with my sleeping bag already uh, ready for uh, bedtime well not be I'm not gonna sleep now but I've got to cook some dinner so I'm gonna have the uh, chicken ticker uh, and then just chill out have a have a coffee in a bit and uh, watch, watch the moon and the stars. As you can see, um, it's the view from my tent. Uh, it's still a little bit of light. The uh, sun set about an hour ago, and uh, we're getting this kind of, um, still a little bit of light residue uh, from the sun.
food is uh, cooking in in there. I think that's how you do it. So I just poured boiling boiling a uh, boiler bag in the water. I mean, you could could open the pouch up and um, put it in the saucepan and cook it that way, but uh, I've already tried it this way. Um, and just eat from the pouch. That beacon just that you can see on the horizon there—that's uh, the radio mast uh, in Princetown, uh, just to give a sense of where I am. Uh, but I'm somewhere near Nuns Cross Farm. Um, yeah, just eat out straight out of the bag. Mm. It's actually not bad. Um, I think I'll, next time I will cook it directly in the saucepan without using water to boil it whilst it's in the bag. Um, because it, it does take a while to actually boil it. <clears throat> uh, well, it took, I think it took about eight minutes. Um, I think it'd be quicker results if I was just to pour the contents in the saucepan and, and cook it that way. Um, but yeah, still very nice. Um, hopefully that will fill me up because I'm starving. Going to uh, finish off with a nice cup of tea. Well, no, I haven't got tea, I've got coffee. So I'm going to have, have a cup of coffee before I go to bed. That should do the trick. Well, it's uh, coming up to midnight, I think, and uh, had my dinner and a cup of coffee, which probably is a bad idea uh, if I want to get a good night's sleep, but uh, I'm pretty tired anyway, I'm pretty pooped. Uh, and it's not too windy, so I'm not making too much noise, but I've got my earplugs just in case. Well, I've actually got my earplugs on. Uh, but yeah, gonna call it a night, I think, and uh, get some sleep. And uh, see you in the morning for breakfast. Ah, morning. Uh, it's, I think, it's about coming up to nine o'clock. up here on the, on the moors uh, so I'm not really sort of shelter, in a sheltered spot uh, I'm gonna have a cook up some breakfast and a cup of coffee just to start me off uh, forecast to be a nice sunny day gonna have this for breakfast expedition breakfast which is kind of like a, uh, a bit like porridge and fruit it's quite tasty actually it's a good way to start the day uh, I find it quite filling uh, you basically just fill up fill it up with hot water uh, close the top let it sit for about eight minutes and it's uh, good to go good to eat so that's the stuff in there. Um, you fill it up up to up to about five on the scale here with hot water. Just give it a bit of a mix up. I let down the uh, sleeping bag. Sleeping mats on. 